Thank you for tuning to Smile Instagram. Make sure you click the link in the bio. Like, subscribe. You know what to do. We appreciate the love. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thumbs up. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We appreciate the love. So, uh, Scotty's out here making noise, you know, with his new book coming out. And, um, you know, he's pretty much taking aim at Mike, as well as some other people. But mainly at Mike saying that, you know, uh, the movie The Last Dance really, I guess, left a bad taste in his mouth. Is really pretty much what I what we have to say is it left a bad taste in Scottie Pippen's mouth. But I'm going to tell you what I think Scottie Pippen is really upset about. Like why he's really, really, really pissed off, right? And I can understand him being pissed off at this, but there's nothing that he can do about it, all right? The reason Scottie Pippen is really, really upset, okay, is because people praise the ground that Michael Jordan walks on. They call him the greatest player of all times. He's the GOAT, everything, right? But I think in all actuality, yes, you are a great person with your physical attributes. You were great at basketball. But were you great at being a human being? Like, were you a good guy? And I'm going to have to say no. I'm going to have to say Jordan was an asshole. He was probably an asshole to all his teammates. And he probably was an asshole to Scottie Pippen. And Scottie Pippen probably is just, you know, it probably burns him up. To see everybody praise this man knowing that he's a dick. Knowing that he's a straight asshole. Now, I believe he's an asshole. And one of the biggest and best stories that I've ever heard about Michael Jordan being an asshole was told by none other than Chameleon. There. And I can't remember the story word for word. But I do remember Chameleon there saying that he was at an auction and they auctioned off Michael Jordan's jersey and Michael Jordan was there. I think he said Michael Jordan was there with a couple other basketball players. And after they auctioned off his jersey, Chameleon there went over to Michael Jordan to see if he can get Michael Jordan to autograph the jersey. Now, once again, I don't remember the exact words of what Chameleon there said, but when Chameleon there asked Jordan to sign the jersey, um, Jordan said something along the lines of, you know, you're going to have to pay for that nigga or, or something of that nature. From what I understand, he said the word nigga to Chameleon there. Okay. That's off top. Just Michael Jordan using the word nigga to me and calling me a nigga. Like nigga, you got to It's totally, totally just asshole shit. Okay. Like there is no way I would, I could ever see Michael Jordan. Being like, nigga, get out, man, nigga, you better go on with that shit. But Chameleon there said that's pretty much what he said on some nigga shit. Like, nigga, it was, and it was something along the lines of, you got to pay, you going to have to pay for my signature too or some shit like that, right? Chameleon there being from the streets, I think he said something like he was about to smack the shit out of Michael Jordan, which of course, you know, probably wasn't going to do it. But I think he said something, I mean, he felt that way. Like, damn, nigga, really? You going to disrespect me like that? Like, nigga, I won't put my hands on you but from what like i say from the story and i'm quite sure you can look it up on youtube but uh you know end of the story i think uh chameleon there somebody else pretty much stepped in between them on some oh you know hey you know what i'll get you know i'll autograph it for you or you know i'll you know you can get a jersey from me or some shit it was another basketball player that actually stepped in and intervened in that situation now i've never heard michael jordan talk about the situation Right. I've never heard Michael Jordan really talk about shit. Like I've never gave a fuck really about what Michael Jordan done. I've never really been a big fan of his shoes. Um, was he a great basketball player? No doubt about it. But I was never a big fan of him because I always felt as though Michael Jordan didn't do doesn't do anything for the community. In my opinion, he literally just started speaking up about black issues probably within the past four or five years. But he's been a fucking billionaire or whatever for I don't know how long and he hasn't he never said shit about anything going on in the black community so that's one reason why I, I you know when you talk about Michael Jordan I'm, I'm not 
I'm, like I say, I was a fan of him at the time, but once again, I was a fan of his basketball skills. Now that he's not a basketball player no more, I don't really give, you know, I could care less about what's going on with him. But, like I stated, once again, I, I feel like that's what, that's why Scottie Pippen is so upset. Is because he knows that Michael Jordan was really an asshole, okay? And the last dance, it depicted it, but not really. Like, it depicted it, but not really. Like, it's hard to, like... If it really depict, if it, I feel like if the Last Dance really showed Michael Jordan in his in the is in his entirety in his natural form, like if it showed what happened between him and Chameleon, there. like if it showed shit like that, I'm quite sure it'd be a lot of people out here like, you know, yeah, he the goat, but I don't fuck with him like that. I mean, that's just what people would be like because they would see that he's really an asshole and he really could give a fuck about nobody or anybody. All he ever gave a fuck about from in my opinion, from what I've seen, was money. Money and Nike and Jordan and the Jordan brand. That's all he gave a fuck about. He give a fuck about anything else. And then with that, he was charging niggas an arm and a leg, niggas getting shot and killed over the Jordans. He still not he still wasn't trying to, you know, bring the prices down or none of that shit. You know what I mean? It took niggas like Shaq and Patrick Hewen to start dropping and and, 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 and Starberry and Marbury to start dropping shoes that was affordable for black people. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like I stated, you can never take away Jordan's skills and what he could do, but it's like we put him on a pedestal. That's the only reason we. That's the only reason he's on the pedestal he's on. But as a person, he wouldn't be on the pedestal at all. He would be probably under the dirt because he's an asshole and he probably treats his friends like shit. And if you ain't, you know, if if he ain't, if you don't got his respect, he probably treats you like shit. And more than likely, if you're black, I'm, I don't even think he probably kicks around too many black people, for real, from the way he talked to um, Chameleon there those years ago. But um, once again, I just that was just my two cents on why I think Scottie Pippen is really upset and why he really, you know, started talking shit in the book. Because, I mean, Michael Jordan's a dick. I mean, everybody knows that now, you know what I mean? But we didn't know it then. But now he's starting to be a little bit more, you know, proactive with his, um, with his uh, cont contributions to the black community. But he wasn't doing that shit when they was winning championships and shit. He wasn't doing that shit years ago. He ain't started doing that shit until recently, until it was like, you know, he, he, he stopped being scared. Or until, you know, once somebody told him, like, hey, man, you know, you can say what you want to say, man. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to be scared. They, they can't take your money anymore, you know. Before, when you were playing basketball, then, yeah, if you said some shit, they cut you off. But... Now you, you're pretty much self-sufficient, so you can pretty much say what you want to say and help who you want to help and do what you want to do. And he probably still was like, oh, really? Well, fuck that shit. I'm keeping my money. So, so whatever, man. You got, you got to look at it like this. What kind of man continues to make money off the same shoe every single year off the same community and they still, and they still cost an arm and a leg? They still cost more money why not just re-release the shoe for everybody so everybody can have one oh well that is a, that'll kill this exclusivity okay well you know once again that's that's why jordan is a dick and that's why a lot of people don't fuck with him but if you want some lebrons you can easily go get some lebron and them bitches are caught they're gonna cost a couple dollars but they're not gonna sell out you know you don't you don't hear people Getting shot left and right. And I mean, they will put it like this. LeBron's will sell out, but they'll get some more. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, they gone. We gotta... No, like LeBron, hey, yeah, these are affordable shoes. They're, they're decent. And he made, I think, shit, you can get probably three different types of LeBron. You get like the regular LeBron's that ain't got no air bubble. They're a little cheaper. Then you get the LeBron's that do got the air bubble, which is cost a little more. And then you get the, the, the exclusive LeBron's, which got everything on. You know what I mean? Like, motherfuckers made it so black people could... Wear the shoe. Shit, my, Michael Jordan was on some bullshit. Like, if you was the only way you could wear Michael Jordan is if you had parents who had good jobs, you had two parents that had good jobs, or you was selling drugs, selling dope and shit. It's the only way you could afford um, shoot Michael Jordan shoes back in the day. And this shit is damn near the only way you can afford them bitches now. So, anyways, you know what it is, man. Appreciate the love. Make sure you like, subscribe. And like I stated, man, that's why 
your boy's upset.